Oh, I can't live without coffee. But you know what else I can't live without? These three productivity apps that save me a ridiculous amount of time and make my life just that much better. Numero uno, Morgan. Recently, I made a video about Morgan as well as Todoist. And you know what I found? I found that the comment section was giving me some slander. Saying like, oh, Morgan this, Morgan that. You know what? Morgan's great, okay? Name me another app that allows you to have task management, integrations to some of your favorite task management tools like Todoist, Google Tasks, and Microsoft To Do, as well as Outlook, and can actually integrate with all the different calendar accounts out there. Do you know how many calendar apps, AKA Cron, don't allow you to connect to not only your Google, but your Office 365, Outlook, iCloud, and even Fastmail. And to be honest, I don't even know what Fastmail is, but it's on the screen and I have to acknowledge it because that's how that works. But seriously, I have this used for everything. I have scheduling links for a meeting with Rise Productive, for example, if somebody would want to become a part of my book of clients for Rise Productive content production services, link down below. They would be able to book a meeting with me as on our website, I have the booking link for Morgan right here. I'm also able to use this for Rise Productive podcast guests. I'm able to use it for pretty much everything. So when I hear any slander about Morgan, I'm like, all right, all right, all right listen, listen, I'll be honest. Is it a little slower from like a snappiness nature and like a CSS situation over something like Google Calendar? Sure. Do I really care? No, because it functionally is way better. I personally think it looks better because of the theme. And there's no other app that I'd rather use for my calendar management. Number two, do I even need to say what this is? Like, are we, are we even questioning that OS Notion or not? Like, it, it really is a, is, is a great app. I've used it for so long that at this point it's a trope when I say, Oh, guys, you should try Notion. You ever just been on a date and been like, hey, what's up, bro? You take notes in Notion yet? Start using Notion and we can mark down a date on my calendar. <laughs> None of this is scripted and that's the worst part. Have you tried Notion AI? Because baby, I'm all in. <laughs> but seriously, uh, Notion, you know, like, cue the million shots of me just making videos about Notion. It's a productivity app in general. It can be used for, as the homepage aptly showcases, uh, wikis, docs, projects. I use it for task management as well. I have a whole system for what I like to call my MRT backlog. I invented this thing just to get on top of my task management. I have it track in here. I mark down when I work out. And it's kind of ridiculous, but there's no thing I would rather use to, to manage my life and my business through than Notion. Now, last but not least, there's an app that kindly sponsored this video and I am an ambassador for. If you've seen me talk about this app before, then maybe you know what I'm talking about. And that's Hints.SL. In previous videos about Hints, I've talked about how I could be lounging on my couch, laying in bed, or just feel like whipping out my phone and quickly be able to capture so many different things. You can obviously connect to Notion, which is amazing. And it allows you to capture data and retrieve it now using the magical power of GPT-4. It allows you to save time and boost productivity in networking, project management, task management, data capturing. Heck, even calendar management is really nice in here. I have made a video before on how I can just whip out my phone and be like, hey, yo, wanna mark down that I need to take down the trash at a specific time? There's a running joke on my channel where the only task I will add at the beginning of an example is take out the trash because honestly i couldn't think of anything different for like three straight videos and then it just stuck and then i just kind of think it's funny it's the only time i've acknowledged that it's a running joke so if you're watching this you're in the small percentage of people that get it regardless this tool does not only work with notion and google calendar but it connects to a myriad of different tools that you can see right here you can check out some of my other videos or you can go through the website where it showcases all the different ways that this can be used and the best part about it is the fact that it captures things and connects them to different properties now using natural language processing with ChatGPT4. And I have to say, I am proud that I was one of the people who gave direct product feedback in a one-on-one -on -one call with one of the team members basically saying, once you capture the initial text, it doesn't just go down into the bottom here like it did before. No, no. Now it conveniently captures it in the comment here, which I'm a big fan of. It's also able to capture links really easily, set priorities for things if you're putting tasks, and just listen to you. Even when I say assign to me, it works. So if you need a quicker way to capture and retrieve information, 
Many of those solutions that you saw here, you should check out hints.so. And we'll say, by the way, something to note on their end, they're working on improving the system. They're trying to bring something that's pretty inventive here and go towards more of a B2B approach. And with that, things come up. Just give product feedback. And the great team has honestly done wonders without anything I've asked for. And I know they'll listen to you as well. Thanks again for sponsoring this video, Hints. And thank you for checking out this video on how to improve your productivity even more.